Alright guys, welcome back. Well, spring and summer are just around the corner and this kit is timely presented. This is a field tick management kit. It's pocket sized, vacuum packed, it's durable, waterproof, and it weighs under 2 ounces. 1.75 ounces. Alright, well this kit got started because of a nice email conversation I had with one of my subscribers and we started talking about uh, what would you do for managing ticks especially with the tick season just around the corner and this kit is actually on its way in the mail to this subscriber as a thank you for getting this conversation going so Hawk LMT buddy it's on its way and, um, I thought I would show you real quick I like to put a little wedge cut at the bottom of the bag to make it easy to tear these bags open and something new I've been doing is adding a little strip of red tape or some kind of color identifier to make that notch easy to spot. We're going to take this kit apart so you can see what it looks like. This one's getting ready to be sealed. I like to use these pint sized uh, food saver bags. They are absolutely the perfect size to take a 3x5 Ziploc bag with the Ziploc folded over and uh, they'll fit sideways in these bags and they're perfect for making uh, pocket sized kits. Now the heart of this kit is a tick remover pro kit remedy kit that I got from REI and we'll go over that in detail. And something else that I've been starting to include in my kits now instead of the alcohol prep pads is a uh, Sandy Hands wipe and these are antimicrobial alcohol gel wipes. They're a much bigger uh, sheet. They measure um, 5 by 8 inches so almost a sheet of paper and it has gelled alcohol which makes it a little bit more durable for the field. Alright let's break this kit open and see what's inside. So the vacuum bag for sealing and then everything fits inside one of these heavy duty 3 by 5 Ziploc bags and I'll give you some resources on where you can get these bags. So the carry bag, 3x5 heavy duty Ziploc. Here is the label that's printed on waterproof paper and I fold it in half and then all the items are tucked inside the uh, label. This label has basically a, a summary of uh, the important information from those PDF documents. A little snippet on prevention, the contents of the field kit, and then what uh, the potential complications are of a tick bite. So local infection, Lyme disease, Colorado tick fever, and tick paralysis kind of in descending order. And then a pretty good sized snippet of information on treatment, how to remove ticks, how to manage the tick bite. And then in the Oregon area, the um, Oregon State University has an insect ID clinic that if you uh, need to, you can actually mail um, a removed tick into them for identification. And if you end up doing that, this kit has a little spot where you can write the date and the location you found the kit and then a transport package to, to mail this off to the uh, um, ID clinic. So we'll talk about that at the end. Now all my kits I like to include a pair of uh, exam gloves. I think that's the best thing for yourself and anybody you're taking care of. And then there are two alcohol gel wipes. These are large 5x8 uh, wipes there is a package of antibiotic ointment, two band-aids, a pair of pointed tweezers, and then probably I think the most useful piece of equipment and the heart of this kit is this tick removal tool called ProTick. And basically it's a very flexible thin piece of steel with a small notch cut out of it that you can slide underneath the uh, tick between the tick and your skin and lever out the tick and the utility of this tool is you're less likely to squeeze the tick and have it regurgitate its contents into your skin which is how the Lyme disease is transmitted so you basically slide this underneath the uh, tick between the tick and your skin and then lift and this goes down to a very very fine point which is just perfect for small ticks 
And then to help, there is a 5x magnifying glass. Now, one of the great things about this uh, tick remover pro tick remedy kit from REI, but you can get it at other places as well, is they have a nice extra set of instructions and a tick identifier card. And what I did is put that in the bottom of one of these uh, 3x5 Ziploc bags and I sealed it across the end and included that in this kit for some extra instructions and information. Now last but not least is a small transport pouch. Now I've sealed this one up in a, um, again, the end of one of these uh, Ziploc bags, but inside that is a small Ziploc bag and an alcohol pad, and I'm going to show you how that works in a second. Okay, if you open up this pack, you'll find inside a uh, pill carrying Ziploc bag, which is perfect size for this. There's a small label on the bottom that has a place to write the date and the location. And inside is a alcohol prep pad. And what you do with this is you just basically open it up. And you just unfold this prep pad and you can put the tick right in the middle there, fold it up and put it back in this bag seal it up and then if you end up mailing this off for tick identification this is a good way to preserve that tick until you get ready to mail it off. Now some places recommend putting the tick in a small vial with alcohol to mail it off but I think that's a little hard to carry out in the field and certainly at risk for the alcohol to leak out so this is a good alternative. All right, as usual I try and put a couple of PDFs in the sidebar notes that you guys can download for reference one thing everybody worries about with uh, ticks, of course, is Lyme disease, and that's just one of the tick-borne illnesses, but probably the, the one that everybody worries about the most. And I'm not an expert on it, but I uh, did sort of uh, reinforce my understanding of Lyme disease, and I put together a uh, little primer on Lyme disease that you can download. It's a PDF document. It goes over uh, how uh, Lyme disease was discovered, where it's the most prevalent. And I think you'll notice here that it's the most prevalent along the um, east, northern east coast, the northern mid section of the country, and then scattered along the west coast. And then, um, as this document will tell you, it's been found in all 50 states. But there are some areas where it's going to be the most common. This document also kind of goes over um, the different ticks that spread Lyme disease, what their life cycle is, when they're the most active, uh, which is in the late spring and early summer, some signs to look out for, how to remove uh, ticks, and some follow-up instructions. I've also got a uh, small primer on actually managing ticks in the field, how to um, avoid uh, ticks, what to do if you get a tick bite, and then of course some references. Probably the most uh, useful thing to know is an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and we talk a lot about uh, prevention in this document. There's also in this document a label that you can download and print on waterproof paper to make your own kit. And then this closes up with an organ specific um, PDF document that if you were really worried you could send um, a tick in to the uh, state um, pathology lab and they will uh, identify it. And then just some more information on ticks. Okay guys, well there you have it. A pocket-sized vacuum-packed tick management kit that weighs under two ounces. Perfect timing for spring and summer which is just around the corner when ticks are most active.